Thank you so much for your time this morning. I'm very happy to be here virtually with you and um, share some um, exciting news um, and the information about Niagara Falls in Canada on the Canadian side. Today in my presentation, I will um, talk about some basic stuff such as access to Niagara. I will also um, talk about signature experiences, but then I will dedicate some special time and presentation for winter products as we are now in the middle of the winter and I truly believe winter is very special in Niagara Falls, as you can see from my title picture. So um, let's start from um, how to get here. Usually when uh, people from different countries and from Australia fly to Ontario, they land in Toronto, Pearson International Airport. It's about two hours transfer um, from Toronto to Niagara Falls. Another way to get to us is to fly through United States, and we have a very close to us. We have a Buffalo Niagara International Airport just in uh, over the border of the United States, and it's about 45 minutes transfer time from Buffalo to Niagara Falls. We also do have um, a Hamilton International Airport, kind of halfway to Toronto, which is not, in my honest opinion, not that great for international flights. There's no many choices there, but it's great for domestic flights. So, for example, if you have clients uh, visiting South Western Canada, they can easily fly uh, to Hamilton, to Niagara region, and from Hamilton, it's about one hour to 45 minutes transfer time to Niagara Falls. Um, there's also a very fun and fast way to get to Niagara Falls. Toronto, other than Pearson Airport, also have a Billy Bishop Toronto City Airport in downtown on island. And there's several companies that offer small planes transfers to Niagara on the Lake, um, which is about 20 minutes drive from Niagara Falls. It only takes 15 minutes flight time and 30 minutes gate to gate. Um, there's several sizes of the planes. The biggest one, as far as I know, uh, can sit up to eight people. If they have luggage, then it will be less people plus the luggage. For um, transfers and public transportation, the easiest way um, to get from Pearson Toronto Airport to Niagara Falls or from Buffalo Airport to Niagara Falls or even between hotel in uh, downtown Toronto to hotel in Niagara Falls is to book with Niagara Airbus. That's my personal choice. I always book my transfers with them. It's a local company. They're based in Niagara Falls. Um, they run shuttles. It's also Price-wise, it's one of the best ways um, to book your transfer. Um, they have a very nice website where you can register as an agent, and then you will receive agent's uh, uh, pricing for your clients. Um, of course, if your clients prefer private transportation, Niagara Airbus can also provide private um, car, and there's some, so many other companies that also provide uh, private transportation for airports or from Toronto to Niagara Falls. For example, one of the uh, companies that we work with a lot is VIP and Terra Tours. Um, Niagara Bus and VIP and Terra Tours also um, do tours of Niagara from Toronto and also from, uh, uh, from Niagara Falls from hotel. They tour and then they bring people back to their hotels. For public transportation, uh, unfortunately, at this moment, we don't have direct public transportation from Pearson Airport in Toronto to Niagara Falls, but um, there are buses and there's a train to get from Pearson to downtown Toronto. And then from downtown Toronto, um, guests can take um, mega bus or Greyhound, which is a bus services. Pretty much every hour there's a bus going to Niagara Falls. We also have Go Transit System, which is a combination of um, bus and train or train, uh, very easy and convenient to use. And there are also um, two um, train companies, Via Rail Canada, that has a train coming uh, through Quebec um, up to Niagara Falls. And from US side, there's Amtrak, uh, where customers can take a train from New York City coming all the way to Niagara Falls on the Canadian side. Um, once visitors arrive to Niagara Falls, there is also a way to move around uh, very easily. We have Vigo um, bus system. It's a specifically, it was specifically created, created for um, visitors, for tourists. It's hop on, hop off system. And um, tickets come in two uh, types. One is 48-hour pass, and another one is 24-hour pass. Pretty much all hotels in Niagara Falls um, attractions, uh, visitor sense, they sell those passes. It's also now included in many um, hotels packages for FIT 
often when you book for your clients uh, an FIT package, uh, you will find that it's already included, so they don't have to worry about it based on the duration of their stay. In Niagara, it will be either 48-hour pass or 24-hour um, pass. There are three lines. They're all interconnected, and people can help from one to another, and, and they go pretty much everywhere in Niagara Falls where tourists would like to go. During summertime, we also have extension to Niagara on the Lake, which is a very pretty Victorian-style heritage um, town um, located about 20 minutes. And uh, this is another very popular place for people to go and enjoy um, the history and wine and food. Um, now, for the for the attractions, um, so many things, so many attractions to experience. And unfortunately, I only have half an hour today, so it's kind of hard to talk about everything. You can find a lot of information on our website, niagarafallstourism.com. In my presentation today, I'm going to talk about some um, signature attraction and exciting attraction um, that uh, your guests can experience in Niagara. So let's start from the probably most popular one, Hornblow and Niagara Cruises. That's the boat that goes right to the falls and people get really wet, so they receive the poncho, which doesn't really help because you get wet regardless. Um, it's a very cool attraction. They open, um, they close for the winter, so they open during the season. Depends on the weather. Um, they either open middle May or, for example, this year we have, we're still having a mild uh, winter. Um, and they announced, they announced yesterday that because there is no ice on the river, they will be able to open on um, 24th of April unless weather changes dramatically. And they usually run until the end of uh, November. So last year, uh, the last day was the 1st of uh, December. They do daytime uh, trips um, and they also do evening cruises. Evening cruises are truly unique because every night, as soon as it's dark, uh, falls are illuminated in different color. It's very beautiful. And also we have fireworks. Uh, fireworks schedule is not posted yet, but it's probably going to be posted in a couple of weeks on our website. So usually during summertime, fireworks is happening on the weekends and a couple of um, days during uh, weekday and, and the peak of the season, July, August. Um, almost every day. So when people take Niagara cruise, evening cruise, not just they go to the falls and see the falls, but they also can enjoy wine or beer. There's a bar on the on the boat, and um, they spend some more time being out there um, enjoying the scenery. Another amazing experience is Niagara helicopters. Niagara helicopters fly over the falls. Um, they do it year round. It's a year round attraction. So what basically what they need is uh, good weather, even during summertime, if it's raining the, the, and it's low ceiling, they cannot fly. Um, for example, today um, was perfect day with blue uh, sky, so they flew all day long. It's a um, totally different view when you look at the falls from Niagara helicopters, and you can see the river, the falls, um, the, the, everything around. Another attraction is the picture with people in um, yellow ponchos. And joining behind the falls. Uh, literally, that's what it sounds like. You take the elevator, you go 38 meters down to the uh, basin of the falls. There's observation area right next to the falls where, again, you get wet. That's why you wear a poncho. And there are two tunnels where you can see the falls from the other side behind. And um, the final picture on the slide is the zip line. Zip line was opened three years ago. It's still a relatively new attraction. It's um, very cool attraction, in my opinion. You uh, zip line about 600 meters down to the landing area close to the falls. This zip line is not about the speed. It's not that fast. It takes about three minutes to zip down uh, to the landing area. It's for people to enjoy the view as you go down to the landing area. You can feel mist on your face. You see the, the falls. You see the boat. Um, it's, it's indeed a really unique experience. Um, they are open um, seasonally. Um, for the first, they were open at this season for the last for the first two years. But this winter again, because it's so soft, some days they do open even during winter time. But they cannot guarantee. So it's based on the day. If you have clients in Niagara in winter time and they want to take zip line, I would suggest just go on their website um, and double check if they open. They can go and uh, do it right there. So what it says on my slide, explore falls from behind, besides and below. That's true. You can experience falls from all kind of ways and angles and enjoy the power of the water. 
other than falls, there's so many other things to do to Ni in Niagara Falls. We have amazing nature. Um, we have a lot of hiking areas um, in the gorge, Niagara River Gorge. Um, we have a um, beautiful road along Niagara Parkway. You can uh, cycle, you can walk, you can hike, you can run, you can uh, have a scooter, you can uh, do whatever you want there. One of my personal favorite activities for the summertime is the chat boat. And I believe it's quite popular with the Australian market. So jet boat goes through Niagara River. And Niagara River, because of all this water rushing down the river after the falls, it's um, quite wild. It's uh, um, rate, um, it's class five and class six uh, uh, white water um, uh, areas. And uh, jet boat goes through all these waves. Again, you get wet regardless of what you wear. It doesn't matter. You get soaked in the water. And it's a lot of uh, fun on a hot summer day. Let's talk about wine, uh, beer, whiskey, spirits, uh, food. So Niagara is quite famous for our wine country. In Niagara on the Lake area, we have over 30 wineries. In um, the entire Niagara region, there's all, over 100 wineries, and they all produce different kinds of wines, red, white, sparkling wine, ice wine. Um, for the last couple of years, we also see a lot of mi microbreweries um, being created. They produce local uh, beer. In the uh, last couple of years, there's several distilleries being opened in Niagara region. So now you can um, spend the entire day traveling from winery to winery to brewery to distillery, enjoying food, drinks, uh, weather, vineyards, and it's all located in a very beautiful area. Um, now I'm going to talk about winter. Um, so winter, it's so different than Niagara Falls. It's so beautiful and magical when you see falls uh, surrounded by the uh, frozen uh, mist, it creates really unique feeling of kind of wonderland and being in a different reality. One of the major events that we have during winter time is a winter festival of lights, which starts in the middle of November and uh, the festival runs until middle of January. During this time, all this area, as you can see on the picture around the falls, is illuminated in different light displays. So once it's dark, all displays uh, are there. Uh, we also have uh, illumination of the falls. We have fireworks. Um, usually during this festival, fireworks are each Friday at 9 p.m. But then during Christmas week and uh, New Year Eve, we do have uh, fireworks every night. Um, the great thing about this festival, all activities, all display, all interactive activities are free of charge. So it doesn't cost money, not for you, not for a client. If they're in Niagara, at that time, they can just enjoy this beautiful scenery, the, the beautiful activities without any extra money being spent. Another great event, and that's again my personal favorite one, it's the Niagara Ice Wine Festival. Niagara Ice Wine Festival happens from um, the middle of January. Usually it starts on the second Friday of January and runs until the end of January for three weekends. Weekends um, for the festival is Friday, Sunday, and uh, Sorry, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now, ice wine. Ice wine is very special for Niagara. Ice wine made from frozen grapes, uh, but we don't freeze them on a, on a, in the fridge or in the freezer. So uh, grapes are left on, on in the vineyard on wines until it's really cold. Usually it has to be uh, minus 10 for at least three days in a row. So grapes are perfectly frozen. There's almost no juice, no liquid left in them. And then um, wineries, winemakers, they collect them um, most of the time by hand because it's so precious. Um, and so they have to be very careful not to damage the grapes. In the middle of the night, when it's still very frozen, and then they uh, press them still in the middle of the night while it's still very cold and they're frozen. The very small amount of juice um, that they extract from the grapes is very sweet. They ferment it as it is, and what do you get is a very sweet but very easy to drink delicious um, ice wine. Ice wine is pretty expensive compared to uh, different to other wines because again it's very um, it's very hard to produce. It requires a lot of labor and you need to know what you're doing. So for this festival what happened during those three weeks in Niagara on the first weekend we have a winter uh, fest uh, village in Jordan village which is a um, small place approximately 30 minutes drive from Niagara Falls and it's a kind of um, street festival with vendors um, uh, presenting wine, uh, different wine, food, live music, entertainment, different competition, 
for example, this picture will show you competition of winemakers flip my barrel. So that what's happening here is the winemakers are competing who will flip their barrel quicker. So the first one who arrives to the finish line is the winner. And as you can see, it's quite popular. Then for the next two weekends, the same um, type of street festival is happening on Niagara on the Lake, which I mentioned earlier, uh, about 20, 15, 20 minutes drive from uh, Niagara on the Lake, a uh, little Victorian style village. Um, so again, there's a tasting of wines, there's food, there's music, different competition. Um, I'll show you some other pictures to show you um, the spirit of the festival. So it's a kind of um, really fun event out, outdoors. And when we have snow, it's really fun because it's cold, it's snow, and people drink an ice wine, and everybody's very happy. Um, another um, program that runs during the festival is called Discovery Pass. So on the website for the wine festival, people, visitors can go and buy the Discovery Pass. Discovery Pass gives access to different wineries. Each Discovery Pass is good for eight tastings. So, for example, if one person wants to go to eight wineries, this person would buy one pass and go to eight wineries, and each winery will um, show, will present some kind of um, special tasting of ice wine and food prepared by the local chefs. If, for example, you have a couple and they only want to visit uh, two wine, uh, four wineries, I'd say, they can buy one pass and share the tasting. So it depends how many people you have, how many passes they want to buy, uh, they can go to different wineries. Festival has a special discount for agents. So if you go on their website again, and you can register as a tour operator or agent, and they will provide you with a special pricing for their passes for your clients. Um, this event is really shows Niagara, Niagara's proud, how Niagara is proud about our ice wine and our wineries and how the winter can be turned in a lot of fun with food and wine and different testings and activities. A um, new thing that uh, the festival presented this winter, and it was very successful, uh, globe, uh, snow globe surreal, uh, dining. Dining in the snow globes, and snow globes, as you can see on this picture, located right along uh, the river, uh, looking at the falls. So that particular weekend, uh, when we had this uh, photo shoot done, it was a couple of weeks ago, but we didn't have any snow. That's why the grass is green. But it's actually real uh, winter, a couple of weeks ago. So it's the real experience. Um, each club can feed up to six people. Um, they are served three-course dinner paired with wine or beer or local um, whis whiskey and some kind of local uh, drinks, choice of the guests. Uh, food is prepared by local celebrity chefs. Every weekend they um, choose different chefs. And it's not just um, eating. Um, also, chef comes and present each dish and talk about the recipe and the source where they get the food and the produce. So it's quite educational and also very entertaining and enjoyable. Very unique um, way to experience the falls. So as I mentioned, this year was our first year doing this um, type of experience. It was sold out very quick. And um, next year, uh, the festival is saying that they will do it again and they will extend uh, the timing. And hopefully, maybe they'll add some more globs since it's so much um, popular. Another new experience this year is a snow showing at Niagara Parks. So this, those pictures were taken on the day where we actually had snow. So those are real pictures. Niagara Parks has several golf courses. So one golf course um, they turned for the snow showing um, ground for the winter. Um, they have about um, 50 pairs of snowshoes available for rent, for kids, for adults. Um, it's self-guided tour. Uh, you can spend there up to three hours, or if you don't want to spend that much time there, there's different uh, trails where you can spend like one hour, two hours, and then just go to the uh, golf course house to enjoy some wine and appetizers and uh, warm up. Um, it's also quite uh, popular, and um, they had customers for the entire weekend when we and we had uh, snow. So from what I'm hearing, they're going to introduce it again next year and maybe extend the program and run it also through the, not just weekends, but also through the week. Um, it's not just us. Um, basically, all our neighbors, Toronto, Ottawa, Blue Mountain, Quebec, Montreal, they all have their own winter festival and with a lot of food, uh, entertainment, music, drinks. So when people come to Canada to Eastern Canada and they're looking to do winter experience, it's good to know that there's so many options. So you can basically start from 
kind of from uh, Ontario and go to Quebec or Quebec and Ontario and travel from place to place to experience Canadian winter. So I listed here some of the festivals, which are quite popular. Um, going back to Niagara Falls um, for hotels, we have um, approximately 16,000 rooms available. Uh, the pictures that I put on this slide are from Falls View Hotels, Sheraton on the Falls, Hilton, Marriott, uh, Falls View. We do have all those branded hotels um, facing Falls View, so you can um, have a Falls View room. But there's also city view rooms, there's a, uh, boutique properties, we have uh, economy, three-star hotels, we have campgrounds, we have RV parks. Um, I truly believe that for every customer that comes to Niagara Falls, uh, for any budget, there's accommodations available. And Niagara is such a great destination that it truly deserves at least one night. But in, in fact, there's so many activities and so many uh, places to see and visit here that uh, two or three nights, I think that's 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 the good time to stay in Niagara. Although we did have some firms where people stayed up to five nights and they were still very, very busy with different activities. Um, last slide has my contact information and I also have a price. So I would like to ask you to email me um, by March 5th, uh, what would be your three reasons to visit Niagara Falls in winter? And then me and my colleague, we will go through the emails and we'll um, pick up the winner and then you will receive a price provided by our generous partners in Niagara Falls, two nights for two people valid from November 1st, 2020 to April 30th next year, and we'll also provide package with attraction based on the time when you're coming to Niagara Falls. Um, so you can come and experience all the things that I was just talking about. That's the end of my presentation, and now I'll be happy to answer any questions.